What's going on my fellow front yard and backyard mechanics? Got the legendary 2007 Honda Accord here and I'm gonna show you how to check your oxygen sensors. Let's go. All right guys, so the tools you're gonna need for this job is going to be a flathead. You're gonna need some curved needle nose pliers and a multimeter. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out which bank it is. On my four cylinder, I only have one bank, but if you have a six cylinder, you're gonna have two banks. So figure out which bank it is, and then you'll be able to move from there. But on my four cylinder, um, it's bank one, sensor one and two. You have two oxygen sensors. So the bank one oxygen sensor one is going to be on the driver's side, right back there. Let me get you in a little closer. It's right there. Um, let me get you a little closer. Let me see what we could do. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. There it is. So that's sensor one, which is the upstream sensor. So it's bank one, sensor one for the upstream sensor. Let's see if I can get a little bit better right there and then for your bank one sensor two is going to be the downstream which is going to be behind your catalytic converter which let me show you is going to be that sensor right there so that o2 sensor right there i'm gonna zoom in for you there it is. That's bank one, sensor two, which is the downstream O2 sensor. And I'm gonna show you where that plug is. That plug is going to be on your passenger side. What you're gonna have to do is come down here, push this as far back as you can. So once you push your seat all the way back, you're gonna have one plastic clip holder there, one there, and then you have one more right there. So the one you're gonna need is this one. You're gonna have to take that one out. So you can do it with a flat head or some curved needle nose pliers, uh, whatever helps for you. But I'm gonna just grab a flat head really quick, pop that off and I'll be right back. All right, let's see if I could do this one handed. Usually I can, but sometimes we have bad days. Let's see if I can. See it coming up just like that. Now, if you break it, like I usually do, just go to the junkyard and grab some whenever you're over there. So that's all. If you're having a little bit of trouble like I am, you can get some curved needle nose pliers like this. And then we're gonna go right underneath the little carpet right there and pop it back. See, so you could see right here the rug came off first before the little clip right there which is fine it's just a little uh plastic clip so i'm gonna pop that out and be right back all right so that's what it looks like yeah it broke i'll get one from the junkyard soon enough so put that to the side and you could see already where i pushed back the rug sorry the angle's pretty bad so we're gonna push that bad boy all the way back like that. We're gonna fold it backwards like that under everything. And now what you're gonna do is pull your seat all the way as much forward as it can go. All the way to the front of the vehicle, so. All right, now let's move to the back seat. And now you have access to that bad boy. So it's gonna be under here. What you have to do is pull this carpet back, just like so, just like that. And then there's the little plug for the oxygen sensor that goes underneath. And if you follow that back, it's gonna be about right there. It's There's another clip holding it, so you're gonna just have to pull straight back and that's the clip that's holding it. So this is your bank one sensor two for a four cylinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this and we're gonna go ahead and test it. Uh, I'll be right back. 
And so once you got it disconnected, we're gonna go ahead and test it. So you go ahead and locate your two black wires, which for us is the two bottom ones down there. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our multimeter and gonna turn that bad boy to ohms. I'm gonna go to 200 ohms right there. It's usually that infinity sign. Mine's wearing out, but yeah. So you're gonna go ahead and turn it to infinity. Infinity and beyond. And we're gonna stick the uh, probes on the two bottom ones, which are two black ones. Let's see if I could get in there a little bit better. See, so the two bottom ones are black, the two top ones, one is blue, one is white. We want the bottom two black. So make sure it's the black ones. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this bad boy in there and stick this bad boy in there. And see right there, 6.2. Kind of tough doing it with one hand but i'm trying so there we go 6.1 that's what you want you want resistance so 6.0 i'm gonna go ahead and grab one that failed that i already replaced and show you what happens when we test the resistance on that one let's go so here is the one that failed on me this is a uh, bank one sensor two which is the downstream oxygen sensor and i already replaced it but um let's go ahead and show you what happens when we test the two black cables for us which is right there so i'm gonna go ahead and stick these probes in and i'll be right back all right so i have my probes in there the two bottom ones which is the two black cables same color on the bottom and you see nothing so that's an easy way to find out if your oxygen sensor failed or not. Um, hope this helps and I'll leave a link in the description for our handy dandy multimeter. And uh, remember guys, if I can fix it, you can fix it. Thanks for watching.